Hey there, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com, and now that we've given you a look at the hardware on the Sony Xperia ZL, we also wanted to cover the software. Uh, so at the most basic level, we're looking at Android 4.1.2 with Sony's own customizations uh, embedded and on top of it. And I think the best way for me to describe it is that um, Sony's customizations are uh, useful and probably the least offensive uh, of any other Android uh, OEM customizations, uh, at least to my point of view. Um, they've certainly branded everything nicely together and include all of their own apps uh, of course, uh, branded across with the uh, album icons different and uh, movies in, uh, right alongside Movie Studio, uh, their Music Unlimited service, their uh, Play Memories Online, the Play Now, PlayStation Certified stuff, um, Remote Controls, Smart Connect, Social Life, Sony Select, Sony Car, Video Unlimited as the other part of the uh, Music Unlimited uh, Walkman, of course, Xperia Link, uh, Wise Pilot for Xperia. So they definitely have a lot of their own customizations because this is the un uh, unlocked uh, version of the phone. So we don't have any other cust custom uh, carrier stuff on top and you would expect uh, when they get a hold of it that there will be that as well. Uh, on the interface side, Sony has done its own little uh, uh, its own launcher here that has kind of a carousel look to it that kind of flips underneath, but it's very similar uh, to a stock experience. You also notice that we have um, standard uh, on-screen navigation, which means that we get a uh, quick tap to go into multitasking, a swipe up to go to Google Now, and a software back key as well, which is really nice to see, and especially on a five inch screen here, um, we don't mind having uh, that amount of space taken up by it. And because the bottom and top bezels are so small, it makes the um, phone in general uh, a little easier on the uh, uh, to use in one hand, which is nice. Uh, so other than that, the uh, launcher is pretty basic. We get a uh, uh, sideways scrolling uh, list here. Widgets are not included in the regular app drawer, unfortunately. Uh, they're still gonna be hidden under either tapping here and hitting customize, or you will get to that same menu by going to a blank spot on the screen if we had one to do a long press uh, and reveal this where you can add widgets, add apps, change wallpapers and do themes. Uh, Sony has included some pre-included uh, some themes here uh, with different backgrounds with a different lock screen wallpaper and just a little bit of a look. But of course you can customize it as we have here with just our own, uh, our own lock screen. Um, let's swipe these away so you don't see any notifications. We have a pretty basic notification bar here with the time and date, some um, sound and vibration toggles, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 3G, and one tap into the settings. And you can see us there in the uh, reflection high. Um, like we said, we're looking at Android 4.1.2. And other than that, the uh, the settings definitely have a skin to them or a different styling, but everything is in the same place. So you're broken up into wireless networks, device, uh, account system, your developer options are still here in uh, full force. They've done their own little toggles that are kind of these black and blue um, kind of metal deals to turn uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off. They've done their own um, skinning here of the uh, data usage. But other than that, everything uh, operates the same way. Uh, it looks a little different, but if you've used, um, you know, if you've got a Nexus 4 uh, or a Galaxy Nexus or something, everything's gonna be in the same place, just a little bit different. Uh, I wanna go back and show you that multitasking menu because they've done something interesting here as well. You get um, your apps over on the right and of course they're scrollable just fine and you can flick them away and get rid of them as well. But then you also have these little quick apps down at the bottom that just pop up over whatever else you're doing, which is kind of nice. So um, I guess for example, if you were in uh, Chrome and you wanted to take a quick note, you can just type in your note here, and when you tap somewhere else, 
it fades away so you can still scroll on these independently, which is kind of nice. And then you hit this button and you go into the full notes app. So it's kind of a, a nice thing to have and especially, you know, timers, uh, calculators. Uh, these are the things that are so quick to use and um, it's kind of nice to have them there rather than diving back to the home screen and, you know, launching it from the app drawer. Um, and then you can, of course, add other apps there as well, which is nice. So overall, um, we're very happy with the software here. Um, it's definitely not stock, but there's nothing wrong with that. Um, they've kind of kept the essence of the way everything uh, looks in modern versions of Android and just adapted their own kind of style to it, uh, Sony style, so to speak. Um, so that is your look at the software on the Sony Xperia ZL. Thanks for taking a look, guys. <laughs>